Okay, so good morning, everyone. My name is Dokas Ajik Kugene. I want to welcome you to our Long Reach Product Expose. As you know, on this platform, we talk about, you know, products manufactured by Long Reach Bioscience and how these products can help you live a beautiful and a healthy lifestyle. So as you know, I'm a business and a wellness coach and the platform remains Long Reach bioscience platform right now as you know long Beach bioscience has 10 research and development centers spread across the world okay we have r d centers in the united states in france in switzerland in italy china and in japan so you can see um the the the, the pictures of the locations you know uh, at the bottom of the image displayed on my screen so we're talking about a platform that is highly vested in research and development. In other words, progress is continually made to ensure that you get the best out of your products. Now, Long Beach has over 2,000 quality products of which over 80% is organic, okay? So you're talking about products that can give you value for your money. Now, I have categorized these products in six categories. We have the female care products, the baby care products, personal care products, nutritional drinks, smoothies, and teas. We also have nutritional care products that take care of, you know, our men. So the long rich man is healthy. The long rich woman is healthy. The long rich baby is also healthy. Now today, we're going to be talking about your heart, your heart, your greatest asset. Now, you might be wondering why make emphasis on the heart. Now, your heart is a very, very important organ because you see, its function determines the capacity in which other organs in your body will run. Now, when the heart of a person stops, the person is gone, right? As in that's the end. A person could be brain dead and be alive, okay? But your heart cannot stop and you'll be alive, right? So it is your greatest asset and Today we're going to be talking about we're going to be enlightening ourselves on this particular organ. You know, it's one thing for you to say, "Oh, I have a heart." Yes, and that's just how far you know about your heart. So, how does your heart operate? What are the things you need to expect from your heart? How, as in, when you have a particular type of experience, what is going on in your body, right? So today we're going to, you know, get to know about it. I'm not, I'm not going to bore you with the medical terms and all those things. I'm gonna try my best as much as possible to ensure that I break you know, it down to the point where even a baby on this call will understand how the heart works, right? And eventual, um, you, um, eventual, you have any challenge with your heart, you would know because most people get signals from their heart on several locations and they don't take it seriously. They just, you know, take it look at it as if it's something that they shouldn't be cautious about but you see you need to know that your heart is important it is the most prized as in the the highest priced organ okay that you should ensure is in the best shape okay so moving on sorry about that yeah moving on what is the human heart okay so the heart is like a big pump, okay, made up of muscles. And it is constantly pumping, you know, blood throughout the body, okay? So its job is to ensure that, you know, pumping, it's just like your pumping machine. If there is, if your pumping machine is not working, what happens? Water will not be supplied to your house, right? Yes. So in order for you to have water supply flow through the entire house, your pumping machine has to pump enough water to your tank or to your house so that all the channels that can collect this water for several you know, um, needs can receive supply. And that's what your, your, the human heart does. It enables pumping of blood and it enables supply of blood to all the organs of the body and to all the cells that make up the body. Now, the heart is about the size of your fist. So something that if your fist is small, so let's say a little bit above your fist, right? But it's around the size of your fist and it's located in the middle of your chest, okay? Now, some people, whenever they want to talk about their hearts, they move their hands to the left-hand side, okay? Like, oh, my heart is to the left, okay? Now, your heart is evenly distributed, okay? It's just 
that it tilts more to one direction, right? But it's centered at the middle, okay, of your chest. So if you put your hand at the middle of your chest, that's where your heart is, okay? Now, the heart has four chambers, okay? The left and the um, right um, atrium, okay? And the left and the right um, ventricles, okay? Now, these four valves in the heart, they make sure that blood goes one way, okay? So when blood is moving in one direction, we have structures in place that ensure that it does not have this reverse mechanism of just like the way you're eating and the next thing you feel like throwing up, right? No, those kind of actions don't take place. We have you know, facilities in place that ensure that your blood goes to the right you know, um, um, direction. You have your aorta, you have your pulmonary arteries, okay, that ensure that your blood moves and everything has its proper timing. When it comes to the heart, there is a kind of orderliness that's peculiar with it. Everything is, everything is accordingly and everything is well-timed, okay? Now, when blood needs to go back to the heart, it is carried through the veins, okay? So if you look at your wrist, if you look at your wrist, okay? Just look at your wrist. You'll find out that um, you, you can see your veins. Now, your veins have this either bluish or greenish look. For we, the Nigerians, our own looks greenish, okay? For the whites and other races, it, it could look bluish, okay? So that's why you saw I, I kept blue slash green, okay? So for those of us that are fair, it looks greenish, okay? When you look at it here, okay? So on your wrist, you can see, I can even see mine here. See, I don't know if you can see through the screen. I can see mine here. So you can see your vein, okay? And we said that the vein helps to, okay, get blood, okay? to the heart okay it's carried when blood is to go to the heart it comes through the vein and when blood comes from the lungs okay it is trans um, transported um through the preliminaries okay it helps to move it there and certain things happen now the blood containing an adult is around 10 percent of the adult's weight so 10 percent of your general weight is your blood and if you're with us last month when we talked about um, the blood and blood cancer, we said that um, a, a, um, an, a human being has, a, an adult human has about five liters of blood, okay, circulating around. So every day you're moving, you're carrying like five liters, if you have to compare to the, the keg, right? You're carrying, that's the amount you're carrying around in your body. Now, now on the screen is a picture of the heart. As I said earlier, it looks like a fist, right? Yeah, it looks like a fist. So um, you can see um, you can see the outer hair. Now what you're seeing here is probably is visibly placed here. You can see this here, right? Like we have other things. Now, you can see that it's in the uh, on the picture here. It's at the middle, right? So for those of us that don't know the location, right? It's there. That's where the heart is. That's where it has. We have the right ventricle. We have the left ventricle. We have the right atrium. We have the left atrium. Okay. Then we have our superior vena cava, the aorta. Okay. Forgive my pronunciations. Okay. Uh -huh. I mean, I enjoy the right. Uh -huh. So how does the heart work? Okay. So how does it work? Now, with each beat. Okay. Every time your heart beats in your chest, boom. Uh, doom, doom, all those doom, 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 doom sound, right? With each beat, the heart pumps blood through the body's cardiovascular system, okay? Now, the cardiovascular system is made up of the heart and a system of blood vessels. Now, if you're looking at the heart, you can see that we have some, you know, um, some pipe-like looking structures. These are your veins and your arteries, right? That, you know, carry, you know, different things, you know, from, as in that carry, sorry, blood from the organ, right? Now, these all these structures form your um, circulatory system, right? I'm trying as much as possible to break it down. I hope I uh, you, you're getting me. Please, I would like feedback on this so that um, I know I'm carrying everyone along, right? OK? OK, good. So in case um, you know it's not too hard for you to understand, please let me know if it's too hard. Let me know so that I can reduce the English and the grammar attached to it, right? Okay, so the blood provides oxygen and nutrients to all the organs and the tissues in the body. So every time you see the blood flow or you, you know, anytime we talk about blood flow, it means bl the blood is carrying oxygen, nutrients, you know, around the body, okay? So the tissues of the body. Now, aside doing this, 
The blood also delivers carbon dioxide to the lungs, okay? And the function of the lung is to now exhale it, okay? That's to remove the carbon dioxide from the body. So when, and when, you know, we breathe in to take oxygen, we breathe out to reduce, and um, to take release carbon dioxide, right? So when, um, when um, the blood takes the, the um, waste products, which is called carbon dioxide, to the lungs, the lungs help feel as in does the arrangement and releases the carbon dioxide from the body. And that's why um, we can do our day to day activities without having any form of toxicity, um, toxicity as a result of excess carbon dioxide in our body and other things. Now, at the same time, blood also picks up waste products that are filtered out of the body and um, by the kidney. Okay, so as you know, it's a circulatory system. So as these movements are going on, the body is taking out waste, bringing in new resources. Okay. Now, if you look at this, you can see the direction of blood flow here, right? Yeah. Okay. You can see direction of blood flow in and out. Okay. In and out. We have everything on our hands. I'm not going to go to, I'm not going to do exhaustive. So I just want to give you the overview, a surface overview of how our heart works, okay? Now, what are the blood vessels? So those pipes you see, you know, protruding in and out, what are they, okay? Now, the blood vessels of the heart include the, cor um, the coronary arteries. Now, like any other organ or tissue, the heart needs oxygen. So the coronary arteries sit on the surface of the heart and supply the heart muscles with what? Blood and oxygen. Don't forget that blood carries what? The oxygen, right? Now, the, the aorta, is the largest artery in the body, okay? Oxygen-rich blood is pumped into the aorta from the left ventricle. Now, the aorta um, divides into various um, branches and delivers blood all around the body. So this is like a major distribution channel where, you know, blood is sent to different places. Now, the pulmonary arteries, okay, carry um, blood that is low in oxygen, okay? that is pumped by the right ventricle into the pulmonary arteries that link to the lungs. As I said earlier on, blood that has been readed, uh, that, um, that, has, uh, that has the waste product is sent to the lungs for it to be cleared out, right? Now the pulmonary veins, they return oxygen rich blood from the lungs. So when you breathe in, this pulmonary veins carry the, um, the blood that con contains the oxygen you've just taken in from the lungs to the left, um, um, atrium, okay, of, of the heart, okay, atrium of the heart. Now, we have the vena cava, okay, the vena cava um, carries uh, um, low, um, blood that is low in oxygen, it takes it to the right atrium by two veins, okay, one is the superior vena cava, which carries blood from the head, that's this, the upper torso from your, there you see, from your pelvic point upwards, Okay, while the other, which is the inferior vena cover, carries blood from the lower body, which is from the legs, from your waist downwards, right? Yeah, so that's how the blood vessels work. So it's like a transmission system. The heart is doing the pumping, it's releasing to, to smaller pipes that move to different directions. Some move to the upper part, some move to the lower part, and they're doing exchange work, taking in fresh oxygen, taking out carbon dioxide, you know, or low oxygen, you know, blood. So this system continues every second of every minute of every day of our lives. You can see how awesome it is, right? Now, the heartbeat, let's talk about heartbeat. Now, as the heart beats, it makes this loop dub, right? Dub dub or loop dub. For those of us that, you know, have had the privilege of listening to heartbeats, I believe it, this, um, this sound, you know, um, mimics, yeah, it mimics it, right? Now, this sound is made by the heart valves as they open and what close. So this doop doop or loop doop that you experience every time your heart is beating as a result of the what? The valves opening and what closing. So every time it opens and closes, it will make that the heart beat, you know, in your takes place, right? Now with each heartbeat, blood pushes through the, um, the aortic valve into the aorta and is delivered to the body. The heart beats about 100,000 times a day. Wow. Is that not amazing? You can see how efficient and how hardworking 
our heart is. And that's why you shouldn't break your heart easily. Don't allow anybody to break your heart easily, <laughs> right? You're like, you're shocked, right? <laughs> you can see that your, your heart is hardworking. Don't allow anybody to joke with your heart. Because you see, if your heart gets, if your heart is not functioning well, how would it fulfill its duties? You see? And that is why when a person has heart problems, life becomes unbearable or life becomes slow and painful. Because you see, something as hardworking as this is not able to carry out its functions in the right form of precision. Now, if the heart beats a hundred thousand times a day, that tells you that it is one of the, the hardest, or oh, sorry, the most efficient and diligent organ in the body. Although the brain is actually, you know, also efficient too. So let me not just be too sentimental in giving all the awards to the heart, right? Now you can feel a pulse, which is the redemic beating of the heart each time the ventricle contracts by touching your index and your middle finger. So this point, right? Where am I? So you can get your pulse. You can check your heart beats, okay, by feeling your pulse, feeling for your pulse. You can also do that on your neck and your, you know, your wrist, right? So to figure out what your heart rate is, keep your fingers on your pulse and count the beats for 10 seconds, then multiply by six. So when you put your index and middle finger on your wrist, you begin to count for 10 seconds. Whatever you count, you multiply by six. Okay, now a newborn's heart rate is about 130 to 160 beats per minute, especially when the child is at rest. Okay, now a six month old heart rate is about 100 beats per minute, right? A toddler's heart rate is about 70 to 80 beats per minute, and an adult's heart rate is about 60 to 80 beats per minute. Now, guys, I think, guys, their heartbeats. Um, should be slow. I think we, the women have faster heartbeats than the men. We're going to see that later on. So your heart is a vital organ, okay? It pumps blood to every part of your body, okay? And the blood pump um, that's, that's pumped out of your heart is distributed to every part, providing other parts of your body with oxygen and nutrients. So if your heart is not pumping blood properly, nutrients cannot get to their right channels. Oxygen cannot get to their right channels. And that's where the problem comes. Problem comes when this action cannot be carried out by your heart. Okay. Now, your heart is about the size of a cleft. I said that earlier. It weighs about 300 to 450 grams. So if you have a scale at home, if you're able to measure 450 grams or 300 grams, you know that's how your heart is. Okay. And don't forget, it lies in the middle of your chest. Okay. And it's slightly to the left of your breastbone. It's not at the left, but it's slightly like the tip. The tip is slightly bent towards the left side of your breastbone. Okay, so it's in the middle. Now, if you are of average body weight and size, your body contains five liters of blood. I said that earlier on. Okay, so it's important to carry out exercises so that your heart can, you know, you know. Every time you exercise, actually, your, your heart will, you know, beat faster. I mean, four times faster, okay, than the way it should beat when you're at rest. And it also helps to exercise your heart and to get it, you know, get, get, um, get it working, right? So it's important. I'm not saying you should go and over-exercise and all that. I'm just saying the, re the required amount of exercise, just 30 minutes of light exercise is necessary to keep your body going properly okay now what are the parts of the heart we have the right and the left sides of the heart which um, is divided by a wall called a septum okay so for the medical people in the house i think this is for you so i'm just going to rush through it you can spring grab this for further study but i'm just going to rush through this okay i said we have four little chambers before okay we have the collecting chambers we have the pumping chambers okay now blood flows from chamber to chamber through the following valves Okay, we have the um, um, we have the um, right ventricle doing its job, the preliminary artery, the left ventricle, and the aorta doing its job. Now, moving on, how does the heart pump blood? Okay, so let's talk about how the heart pumps blood. Now, after blood has um, traveled through the body, it comes back to the heart through the veins, which is the vena cava I talked about, and it enters the what the right atrium. Now, if you're looking at my screen. You can see the right atrium here, right? Where the cursor is, that's the right atrium. 
okay? It enters the right atrium, and the blood is bluish in color because it is low in oxygen. So you can see the blue coloration there, right? Yeah. Now, when the heart relaxes, the blood flows through the um, triscop um, the, the, um, the triscopid here. Sorry, what's that? Okay, and um, oh, sorry, where was I? Okay, good. The, now, the, uh, the, when the heart relaxes, the blood flows, okay, into the right ventricle, okay? So where is the right ventricle? This is the right ventricle here, right? Okay, when it gets to the right ventricle, what happens? The right ventricle contracts, it will squeeze, okay? To send the blood through the pulmonary valve into the arteries and the lungs, okay? Via the pulmonary arteries, right? Now, the blood travels to the lungs where it gets fresh oxygen, and turns bright red again. So when oxygen comes into the blood, what happens? It will turn from the blue coloration to the red coloration, right? Now, it turns to the left atrium. Now, this is the left atrium here, okay? So it comes into the left atrium through the preliminary veins. You can see the preliminary veins here, okay? Preliminary veins, yeah, right? Now, then it moves through the mitral valve, okay? Move through the mitral valve to the left ventricle. Now, this is the left ventricle here. You can see the left ventricle there. Now, the left ventricle pumps the blood high in oxygen out through the, the um, aortic valve into the aorta. Okay, you can see the aorta here, right? So it just comes in like this, shim, poop, to the aorta. And don't forget that everything that's going on here is with force to prevent reversal, right? So the force is so, so, so strong, right? Now, the left ventricle pumps the blood high in oxygen out through the aortic valve into the, um, the aorta. The aorta delivers the blood to the body and the process begins again. So it's a continuous thing. Comes in, goes out, comes in, goes out. So it's a very fast process. And I believe that this diagram actually did a good job in giving us a proper you know, overview. Now, the heart's electric system. Now you might be wondering, Doc, is there an electric system attached to my heart? Yes, there is. There is an electric system attached to your heart. Now, there's a small area of the right atrium called the sinoarterial node, okay? Which is S1, right? You can see it here, right? Okay, the SA node is the body's natural pacemaker since it controls the heartbeats. Okay, now with each heartbeat, an electrical impulse from the SA node causes the muscles of the atria to what contract. So there are signals, and don't forget that the brain communicates with other parts of the body through electric signals, right? So when this signal comes, what happens? Actions take place for certain things to you know, happen. So the, the the heart doing its job is as a result of this electrical imp, um, impulse that takes place. Now the electrical sing, signal is then carried through the actual ventricular node into the ventricles, okay? This is AV node, okay, the node two, right? Yeah, causing them to contract and pump, and pump blood out of the heart. Now it's similar to the motion involved when you clench and unclench your fist. So when you clench and unclench, this is how the signal goes. Okay, clench, unclench. So we are pumping blood, we're moving blood to in and out of you know several you know um, parts of our body. Now there's some important facts you need to know about the heart. Okay, and some of them are really, really, really very, very amazing. So I know you're gonna be wild at the end of the day. Now your heart contracts, which is tighten up. Okay. And this makes all the chambers smaller and pushes blood back into the blood vessels. Don't forget it's in one direction. So this contraction is a very heavy one. And that's why you feel the thud in your chest, right? Boom, okay? It squeezes, everything becomes smaller and what pushes blood into the blood vessels. Now, when your heart relaxes again, the chambers get bigger and the blood comes back into your heart. So when you, you know, tighten up, everything becomes smaller blood is pushed out, then when it relaxes, blood comes back. It's like it's opening and what closing, opening and closing. Now your heart tightens up and this makes all the chambers, you know, pushing blood back in, right? Now when your heart relaxes again, the chambers get bigger and blood comes back into your heart. Now the average adult heart beats, the heart beat is about 72 times a minute, 
Okay, I gave us analysis earlier on of how it happens with children and how it happens. And it's, it takes place about 100,000 times a day. So um, in a year, your heart beats about 35 million times. Oh my God, that's amazing, right? Yeah, it is. Okay, so during a person's life, their heart could beat more than 3.5 billion times. Yes, 3.5 billion times. So you can see that your heart is very hardworking. Wow, I'm so proud of my heart. So proud of it, man. You, you hard work on my heart. Thank you so much for doing an awesome job for me. Thank you for beating every second and every day, right? Now, so if you want to know how fast your blood pumps through your aorta, okay, it pumps at one mile per hour. <laughs> oh my God. Do you know what that means? The pumping action, if you are to put it in, um, if you're to compare it with distance, it pumps at one mile per hour. Now that's a lot. That is a lot. And your heart does the most physical work out of any other muscle in the body. So you can't compare to any other muscle in the body. It is the, it's the strongest bros in town, <laughs> okay? So during a heartbeat, the heart creates pressure, okay? And that and the amount of pressure it creates will be able to make your blood, you know, move with force. And the distance is about 30 feet, which is nine meters. Wow. Can you see that energy used in pushing can actually go for as, you know, a distance of 30 feet in comparison, nine meters. Wow. Okay. Now in 1967, Okay, Dr. Christopher Bernard did the first ever successful heart transplant in Cape Town. In other words, the heart can be transplanted. I'm sorry, yes, can be transplanted. In other words, when a person's heart fails and it's no longer functional, if there is a healthy heart or if there's a donor that can provide a heart that is functioning at a good capacity, that heart can be transplanted into the person with the heart condition and you know that person can get you know it's his or her functions back and i've heard of several people generous people at the time of death you know donate their hearts okay freely to people in need of heart transplant and i think that's a very very charitable you know action very very charitable okay now the heart can continue to beat outside of the body as long as it it has got enough what oxygen now this is because it has its own electrical impulse i told you about the electricity the, the signals that it passes right so even when the heart is outside the body it can you know still beat as long as the electrical impulse is still you know functional and that is why we can transplant it into somebody that has heart conditions right now when your body is at rest it takes six seconds for the blood to go from your heart to your lungs and back again. Do you know what that means? Six seconds is like one, two, three, four, five, six. That's it. So what we're here, what, we, what it's telling us right now is that blood can move from the heart to the lungs and back. It can do one circle that fast, okay? To and fro. Now eight seconds for it to go to your brain and back. So for it to you know pump from the heart and go to the brain and come back, it takes eight seconds and 16 seconds for it to go all the way down to your toes and back. Oh boy, isn't that amazing? So you can see that a lot is going on on the inside of you. And that's why as an individual, it's important you take care of your body. Because you see, all these things are highly calculated. They are, your heart is excellent, it is diligent. It knows what to do. But you see, you slow down your heart when you give it the wrong resources when you take junk foods, when you take high cholesterol foods, you stress this hardworking muscle. You do. And you, you make it lazy. When you don't exercise, you make your heart lazy. Your heart was built to be a hard worker. Your heart was built to do awesome stuff fast. But when you do the wrong things, you slow down its, its work process. And you find out that when you're climbing up the stairs, you start panting like an old man. And meanwhile, you're just 35 or you're just 30 or 25. If you're 25 and you climb up the stairs and you're panting, you are, your heart is lazy. Your heart is lazy. You've made it too lazy. You've eaten too much <laughs> stuff that you ought not to eat. 
okay? So you can see how fast your heart works in pumping blood. Now, men and women's heartbeats different, okay? A woman's heartbeat is faster than a man's heartbeat, okay? So a woman could have 78 beats per minute, while a man could have actually seven beats per minute. Okay, so guys, what are you guys thinking of? Why is your heart beating so, so slow, right? So ladies in the house, hey. So what a woman can do, a man cannot do in this, in this state. So ask the men in the house, can your heart beat faster than mine? <laughs> right? Just kidding, right? So as a kid, it should beat at 75 to 100 times per minute, right? Said that earlier on. So moving on, what are the common symptoms of heart diseases? Okay. So when the heart has a challenge, when there's an infection, when there's trauma, when the heart is not functioning at the capacity also, what are the signs and the symptoms or what are the indicators that we need to, to look out for to know that, hey, this is a, a challenge from the heart. Now, heart disease is a broad term for different conditions affecting the heart. Now, different heart conditions can have different what? Symptoms. It's important to be aware of the following symptoms, which can be a warning sign of a medical emergency, including what? Heart attack. Okay. Now, when there is chest pain or discomfort, when you're feeling discomfort, don't forget that your heart is located at what? The center of your chest. When you're feeling pains coming from the center of your chest or you're feeling discomfort, you should know that something is wrong with your heart. Now, this can feel like an uncomfortable pressure, like tightness or excessive beats from your heart or a kind of ache where you find out that you're not able to stand properly or you are, you're not just yourself as a result of that. Most times it could lead to numbness, okay? Or you just feel this squeezing like you're choking and you cannot explain why. Or air is not just, ox um, oxygen is not moving the way it ought to. Or you could just feel this fullness or pain. Whatever it is, if you notice that it's starting here, at the chest region and it is spreading to your arms your neck your jaw your shoulders or your back then you know that there's trouble and you immediately need to ask for help so that you don't end up having you know a heart attack or any of the heart related um, challenges now shortness of breath or difficulty in breathing is also an indicator that something is wrong so you might not have chest discomfort, but you find out that you're struggling to breathe, okay? If you're having difficulty breathing, it's a warning sign. Now, if your heart is racing, or you're feeling like your heart is pounding, you know, too, 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 too fast, or like you are, if you have if you've had that adrenaline moment where your heart is beating fast and it's not coming back to the normal rhythm after a few minutes, then you need to, you know, when the heart palpations are too much or too fast or too hard on you, you need to know that something is wrong. Now, if you're feeling lightheaded, okay, you're feeling dizzy, you're feeling like you, you want to faint or something, you need to take note of it, okay? When you feel unnecessarily anxious, you might be having a panic attack, okay? It's important you call the attention of someone around so that you can get the necessary help that you need. Now, when you, when some, in some cases, we also have nausea, indigestion and vomiting. If, and don't forget that these symptoms are also peculiar um, to other health challenges. But when you see about 50 to 70% of these challenges showcasing in your body, then you know that it could be a heart related disease, you know, manifesting itself. Now, another um, symptom could be sweating or a cold sweat, when you break out in a cold sweat, okay? And when these symptoms last more than 10 minutes and they're getting it's getting severe or it's getting worse, you need to put a call through, okay, to a loved one, family members, or the emergency room, or call an ambulance, 911 for Nigerians, it's family members, or your hospital if they're prompt to respond, okay? Something is going on, okay? Now, we have language products that can take care of your health. We have products. Now, I'm not going to list out everything because we're going to be running through heart issues through the month. So I'm just going to pick about five of them and quickly run through them so that you can know that these products can take care of your heart, okay? As I said earlier on, um, the number one is um, our berry oil. 
a berry oil is excellent in taking care of your heart. I call the berry oil the product that helps to heal your organs. It's a product that, that has the nutritional requirements that your organs require to stay young and healthy. Now, don't forget that some people have organs that have aged, even when their age is still on the, you know, on the low side. Imagine someone that's 25 having their organs or having their hearts as aged as 50. If you have that type of situation and it's bad, in other words, your heart health is very poor, but you see, you can improve that by using our long reach berry oil. Our Seabuckton berry oil is very beneficial. Now, when I talk about berry oil, please, I'm not talking about the other regular type of berries. You know, we have different types of berry oil, right? From different type of berry, um, plants, um, plants, okay? We have different type of berry fruits and all that. But we're talking about the Seabuckton berry oil. Seabuckton berry oil. Now, I'm gonna emphasize this because you see, most of them are like, oh, no, I can't take berry oil. It's because of this. You know, I hear a lot of things sometimes. And most times I tell myself, don't, doctors don't argue. Allow the person to do what they feel they can. Because most times when we tell people that our berry oil is peculiar, Instead of listening to our own explanation of our product's capacity, they go online, study about general berry oil, and come to give us feedback on it. For example, the long berry oil can be taken by a pregnant woman, okay? And someone goes online, reads about on the, on the other berry products, and comes and say, Madam, how can you tell me to take berry oil? Okay. Where did you get your information from, right? Where? See, because you see, our berry oil does not have side effects like the other berry oil. Our berry oil is a type of berry oil you can give to a child. For our short, long children, they pop berry oil like, like, like the way they pop sweets. Just throw it in your mouth, they go trip and they swallow and they're okay. Our adults do the same thing. Our breastfeeding mothers do the same thing because you see, when you're pregnant, you need all this, you need all the benefits, you need all your omegas intact, right? Yeah, you need them intact. You need all your vitamin Bs intact, and everything is contained in your berry oil, right? Now it prevents blood platelets from clumping and reduces bad cholesterol. Now, this is very important when it comes to your heart health because you see, when you take a lot of junk foods, what does it do? It clogs your arteries and it prevents your arteries from sending blood to the heart at the rate it ought to. And you find out that your heart is struggling because you see, um, there is just like, imagine your pipes at home, your water pipe, when it is blocked, what happens? It's either you start hearing it, tup, 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 it struggles or you find that it drips slowly. Now, when it's at the dripping point, you find out that oxygen and nutrients will not move. But if it is struggling, you, you find out that the pressure, don't forget that the heart is already doing a lot due to pressure. Now, when blood is not flowing out of your arteries properly, the pressure increases times two or times three. And what happens? You hear of cases of high blood pressure. You find out a person is trying to climb the staircase and it's running like, Ugh, like someone that wants to fall down. But you see, berry oil contains um, um, high density uh, contains good cholesterol, better put, okay? Contains good cholesterol, okay? And good cholesterol or high density um, 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 cholesterol um, helps to take out low density cholesterol. So when the more good cholesterol you take, it has the, the good cholesterol has the ability of kicking out the bad cholesterol. You get it. When you take the right omegas, the right fatty acids and all that, they have what it takes to take out the bad cholesterol in your body. Don't worry, I'm gonna take out time to talk about cholesterol. I don't just wanna go in there and start calling different names because I know I have not done it, okay? So I'm not gonna bring all those names to confuse us. I'm trying as much as possible to hold it in, okay? So that I don't fear, right? So it helps. So our berry oil is the only berry oil that has omega-3, omega-6, omega-7, and omega-9 fatty acids all contained within. It has micronutrients, it has vitamin C, it has the vitamin B range, it has flavonoids, it has carotenoids, it has beautiful, beautiful stuff contained. I think I should do a training on berry oil this, this month. Because you see, 
if you can take berry oil, trust me, your heart will function excellently well. Take it from me. And not just your heart. Your heart will work well. Your kidney will work well. Your liver will work well. Your lungs will work well. Everything will work well. I'm taking out time to explain it because you see, a lot of people have misconceptions when it comes to berry oil. Like, well, it's oil now. And you're adding more oil again to the system. Our berry oil has what it takes to take out bad cholesterol. And that's why we use it. And that's why when people have fatty liver and all that, we still give them berry oil because it has what it takes to take out that stuff. And don't forget that it helps to protect your body against toxins. Okay? So if it has the ability of taking out toxins, so whatever toxic stuff is building up in your liver, as a result of it not you know, clearing out what it ought to clear, or probably the... the, the um, the um the uh, what's the name okay let me not go into that okay it's too high very oil comes in to correct it right so moving on we have a long reach lip bow a long reach lip bow is excellent for men okay it's excellent for men because it helps to improve their health it helps to take care of their kidneys it helps to take care of their organs that's it it takes care of the man's organs well from the um from the sexual organs to the heart, kidneys, the liver, everything it takes care of the man. Okay, I've seen a lot of men who are not adding weight due to stress take this and it helps their immune system, it helps their heart. They found out that they were functioning better than the way they, they, they were before coming in contact with this product. Now I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna spend time on this, how long which pie cup? You know, we did this last month, so I'm not gonna spend time. You know what our language pack up, you can see it reduces blood what? Cholesterol. So those bad cholesterol in your blood system, when you take water from the cup, it helps to clear it off. It also, and when it clears off the bad cholesterol, it helps to give the water you drink oxygen. Don't forget that oxygen is important for your heart to do well. So this helps to increase the oxygen content. So while you're inhaling you know, oxygen with your nose, you're also getting more oxygen from the water you take when you use the water from the pie cup. So you find out that your heart is not stressed out. And perventure, your heart is, you know, stressed and all. We have um, far infrared and other things that can help, you know, help your heart function at the capacity. I can remember when um, we trained in the head office, we had a testimony from a guy who had heart problems. I saw him some time ago and I told him, when last did you take water from your pie cup? He said, I've even forgotten where the cup is soon. I said, can you see life? Once upon a time, you had the problem, you ran to the cup, you got your testimony and you forgot your source of, your source of help. And now because you're okay, you've gone back to the normal. So please guys, over familiarity with the product is bad. Don't get too familiar with your products because see, good health starts with you. It starts with you. So you have to ensure that you take good care of yourself. Even though you sell it, use it. Ensure that at least you come in contact with your cup at least once a day. As long as you go out and you, you know, come in contact with toxins and everything out there, especially people that live in high, highly populated areas where there are a lot of cars and all that, you need water from your cup every day. Okay. So I've done this before, so I'm going to rush. Now we have our Nutri-V product. Okay. Our Nutri-V pink and Nutri-V um, blue. Now Nutri-V pink helps to, you know, to reduce weight. Okay. Now I brought in this because of, uh, it takes care of high blood pressure. In other words, when you take this particular product it's in smoothie form it has high level of roughages it has fruits it has vegetables that can help reduce your cholesterol level and ensure that you don't you know struggle your blood capillaries receive freedom as a result of you taking this it also helps to reduce your weight don't forget that when you're when you have too much weight it can also you know affects your circulatory system. So this helps to bring down your weight so that your body can function well. Now, it holds naturally occurring oils, okay? These heart oils are naturally found in brown rice and can help the body reduce what low density um, um, kind of chole um, cholesterol, okay? So you can, you're seeing it here for yourself, right? I'm not the one that conjured it, okay? Now, Nutri-V Blue, we give Nutri-V Blue to people on the slim side, okay? People that are trying to, that are healing, they're getting well from an ailment or people that are just smallish in stature and they want to add weight, okay? We give them Nutri-V Blue. So if you're on the big side, please take Nutri-V Pink. If you're on the small side, take Nutri-V Blue, okay? It helps to do the same thing. You can see for low blood pressure 
and hypertensive patients. Okay, it contains brown rice, which is rich in selenium and important trace minerals known to drastically reduce our chances of developing certain forms of cancer, as well as what? Heart diseases and inflammatory conditions. It is rich in antioxidants, okay? Very, very important. If you, you shouldn't forget this, okay? You shouldn't forget it, okay? Now, as you know, I said I wasn't gonna talk about all the products at one. So next week when we come back, we're gonna talk about more products that can also help you know, take care of you. Now, every product you buy from Longridge has what we call product value and PVs or point value, okay? So, and this point value, you can see, we have our green tea here with five PV and you can see the price and all that, right? So um, everything you see here can give you the opportunity of earning on the Longridge platform. So as such, you get in, product value, you also get um, health value. Okay, aside getting health value, I mean, you get um, monetary value for your purchase. Now, we have several entry levels that you can attain when you purchase products from the long reach platform. So for example, if you have to purchase the five products I just talked about, those products can help you come in in different categories, excluding the starter level, okay? The starter combo level has default set of products that have been um, selected by the long reach um, company okay to assist people in, um, in coming um, on board so if you're not financially you know capable and you still want to do what you need to do you can start with different set of products and you begin to grow you know as you acquire more products for yourself and everything is product based okay for every product you purchase you get points for it now the cumulative point is what determines the level you come on board with now if you come on board with points that accumulate to 60 pvs estimated at forty-five thousand, you are at the q silver level if you come in at silver level you're going to accumulate 120 pvs estimated at ninety thousand naira. okay if you come in at gold level you are gonna you need to accumulate products worth 240 points, okay? Estimated at 100, 180,000. And at platinum level at 720 um, um 720 PVs, estimated at 500,000. And VIP, which requires 1,680 PVs, estimated at 1.2 million. Now, at whatever level you're in, you can enjoy the benefits of long reach products. You can enjoy a beautiful and a healthy lifestyle. Now, if you're starting at the startup path, it's very, it's okay. What you need to do is to grow through the levels. So you can move from starter to Q silver. So from four, you can acquire more products to get to 60. With 56 more products, you're at 60. When you add, when you get to Q silver, you are not done. You add more, you add 60 more PVs to it, you move to what? Silver. When you add more, um, you add 60 PVs to, um, when you add more PVs to it, you move to gold, which is at 240. When you add more, you get to platinum. When you add, you get VIP. And at this VIP, you become a shareholder with the company. And this is the highest entry level we have. Now, each entry level has its percentage for the benefits that you get. Now, if you come in at the Q silver and the silver level, you get 8% bonuses, okay? Weekly bonuses. When you get to, um, the gold level, you get 10%. When you get to platinum and VIP levels, you end at 12%. But at platinum um, at VIP levels, at VIP levels, to be um, correct, you also enjoy 1% global sales, okay, as a result of your team effort, you know, for the month. Now, with long reach, all you need is a maximum of three legs, as the structure below shows. You just need three people on your business three, okay? And these three people, they, join, they will join hands with you and you can build a business from it, okay? And from the activities, you always get paid. Now, there's no time frame, no pressure, okay? You can grow at your own pace. We, you can enjoy leadership by building, you know, a multi-level marketing platform on this language platform. You can also enjoy weekly bonuses. You don't have mandatory monthly purchases. We only have our maintenance purchase we make once in a year okay we have a maintenance package once in a year that we do of 30 pv okay now we also have repeat orders that you can also do monthly based on your choice as i said earlier on no pressure right no pressure if you want to do it weekly there are also bonuses attached to you doing your monthly retail or repeat orders okay now you, your accumulation of points is not 
such that after you get a particular point, we flush down. No, we don't flush points. You can accumulate as much as 100 million points, okay? Nobody's stopping you. Now, there's several ways for you to end um, you know, uh, on the long reach platform. You get retail profits by selling products. You get, we have the start and um, the fast start bonus, performance bonus, development, leadership bonus, repeat other bonus, travel incentives, car incentives, housing incentives, and educational scholarships. All these work together in ensuring that you get the best of the long reach platform now you can grow at your own pace as we said growth is achievable from your entry levels here to you know the diamond levels and to star director level your growth is dependent on your desire to be more so at this particular point i want to call everyone to action today switch your brand okay what we talked about uh hat is easily achieved on this um platform because we have products that you can use that can keep you healthy wealthy and wise right yeah so empower yourself with the knowledge you've gotten gain control over your health share your testimonies every time you use a particular product and you get benefits for it don't keep quiet about it share it because you see you might just save someone who is battling a particular challenge and he does not know the way forward most times because we're network marketers people feel we want to sell products but when you gain when you gain knowledge on this platform and you share your testimonies in in you know in um in the proper way with the knowledge you have of your product, it gets people curious about the product and it gets them to try it also. And that way you can also help them, you know, save themselves and also earn money. Now with long, it's always a better life and a better future. As I will always leave you guys with, good health is the most important thing, people. Good heart health is the most important thing. Good health is more important than money. I've seen billionaires have heart attack. In short, Growing up, I've always known heart problems to be associated with the rich because I believe they're the ones that always think they work too much and they don't take care of themselves. themselves sorry. We are not in that dispensation anymore. We are multi-millionaires that know how to take care of ourselves using long-reach products. So good health is more important. It is the most important thing, okay? It's more important than success, more than money, more than power. So take your health seriously at this point i want to say thank you to everyone who make who made it a date with us it has been a beautiful you know time talking about the hat so if you have any question i would just take one question today because of time it was six minutes behind time right so i want to appreciate everyone that took our time to join the meeting today thank you very much Thank <laughs> you.